beautiful night just east of Tokyo as we welcome you back to CBC's exclusive coverage of the 94 World Figure Skating Championships from Japan. And the anticipation is mounting as we get set for the men's long program tonight. Elvis Stoiko going for gold two years ago. He was the bronze medalist in Oakland last year, the silver in Prague, hoping to climb to the top of the podium tonight. Elvis is the leader and is the favorite, but as we found out at the Olympics, you can't take anything for granted. It's already been a very good day for Canadian skaters born in Kratz and with their final thoughts on the original dance, let's join Barb and Paul. Chris, it's no surprise that Gritschuk Platov are sitting in first place going into the free dance. As Petri Koko, the Finnish ice dancer, said to me, they could do anything here this week and they're going to win. But the big surprise for Canadians here was the performance of Kratz and Bourne, who went from ninth place after the first compulsory dance, are sitting in sixth place going into the free dance. That was virtually unheard of in ice dance in the past. It's a great spot for them and a great sign for ice dance. And, Paul, we're heading into a very exciting men's final. Well, Barb, there's been a lot of talk here this week about quads, with Ermanov and Stoiko doing them in practice. But I think it's important to remember that Elvis Stoiko has already done a quad in combination way back at the 1991 World Championships in Munich when he was skating in the shadow of Kurt Browning. But tonight, the Stoiko camp is in an excellent position because they are going to know how both Ermanov and Candelero have skated so they can make a decision as to whether or not they think Elvis really needs the quad to win. But let's quit second guessing and get on to what I think is going to be an outstanding men's final. Chris? Well, here is Canada's Marcus Tripson of the Royal Glenora Club in Edmonton. It's been a tough week. He was sixth in qualifying and not happy about that. And then 16th after the technical program. Just doesn't seem to have been able to hit stride after being named to the team as a replacement for the retired Kurt Browning. Well, I think, Chris, he had his performance of his life at the Canadians and it wasn't good enough to get him on the Olympic team. So that must have been a big disappointment then. Opens with a beautiful triple lux. Well, I talked to him yesterday after the technical program and he, he said to me that he's been finding it a little bit unnerving here having to skate in the qualifying round and after in the technical program after Philippe Candelaro with the flowers just cascading from the building and a long time having transpired between Candelaro's finish and he getting to start. But he said he wishes he was skating after Candelaro again today. Not the case though. was the one he was looking for in the technical program yesterday. He says it's one of his best jumps and he was quite disappointed with himself having missed it in the technical program.
That was his first miss. They're having a great skate. Nice triple toe at the 415 mark of this long program. And Barb, as you mentioned, aside from the small difficulty he had with the triple lutz, the second triple lutz, an excellent skate for Marcus. The one thing Marcus needs to do now is go home and work on his triple axle. That's the one thing that's lacking in his skating. And he'll need that if he wants to break into the top 10. Yeah, he likes that. That's his best moment of the Worlds in Japan, and we'll be back with his marks after this. He likes those. 4.8 from the American judge, but the rest up to a 5.4 from the British judge. And he did the opposite of what he did last year in Prague when he was sixth after the technical 14th in the free skate, 10th overall. He's had a flip-flop here and much better mark. So you can have a nice feeling about these world championships after all. Second place mark from eight of the nine judges, a third from Japan for Marcus Christensen and coach Jan Omar. The leader, Elvis Stoiko, will skate later tonight, but next, Gene Semp gives us a step-by-step -step look at footwork in the men's event in the Royal Bank judges' seat. In the judges' seat. 